TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On the 6th of February, this is Monday, the beginning of the week, and to start off the week, the Dow is down 157 at 33,765. Remember, we've been looking at this as if to say, uh, within this other rectangle formation right here, we could have a bit of an arch formation digestive phase before we get to the next leg D. Let me just draw that in as well. We'll do it live so that you know exactly what I'm looking at. Uh, we want to pull back, and that pullback, I think we've got a few days of a pullback. Yeah, if you look at all these different indices, look, the S&P, uh, we're always looking for uh, a buy signal to be upgraded to a buy mode to go to at least a D. And then you look at the left side, right side price time match, symmetry of the bars, and you've got your S&P trading right now at uh, 41.15. Uh, minus 21.53, it almost hit the 4,200. Let me just check the exact number. I should have put that in. Uh, 4,195.44 on Thursday. Friday was down, so it made a peak. G -stash. See, there's a chance we could just pop to a leg D here, just as we did in, in gold. But in the meantime, I think there's a little digestive phase going on. Uh, this week, at least in the beginning of the week, looking at the QQQ, same thing, got a G stash C at 313.38 uh, three days ago, uh, down $1.27 at 304.91, just digesting gains. But what's really important is that those weekly charts really improved uh, over the past two or three weeks, and especially last week. Looking at the IWM Russell 2000, down $1.58 at 195.42, the same story here. Got very good support in the 192, 190 area if there's a, a pullback this week. Now, this is going to be very interesting because gold had a very sharp two-day plunge. Today, it's up a little bit. It's up 10 at 1886. I suspect a chunk of this initial move has been done, and now it's at the speed of which says that you could bounce a little bit. You could even get to maybe to 1900, 1905, and then I think we make an arch formation and we start to retest the lows that were made. Now, also important in this particular aspect is that the dollar did have a very strong two-day turnaround from Thursday, and today it's up at 103.32, up 0.34. This is really important because if the dollar by Wednesday or Thursday is able to touch 104, that's going to say, hey, now we're looking at a decent turn in those particular instruments. And the crude oil, uh, crude oil is down again, and the TLT bonds, uh, bonds are down 72 cents. I'll be back with the time.